All right, and we're back with our next segment here of Classics Lounge. A game that I probably put way too many hours into as a kid. Um, I absolutely love this game, and I'm surprised my copy still worked. Because honestly, like, this is easily this between this game, Super Mario World, and uh, Link to the Past was my most played games on the Super Nintendo for sure. Um, so let's dive into Sim City. Uh, for those that have played this on computer, obviously the computer versions are far superior. But it was amazing getting a home port at this time, um, and it's really got me to where I am as far as simulation games today. It's, it's really got me into my love for them. So let's do D and A. We'll make some platformer game. Red Bear, I'll let you answer that. All right, so concept is simple, right? You build a city and you manage it and you try to avoid disasters. This is our map here. It's a bird's eye perspective. Our tools include bulldozing, roads, um, power lines, railroad, parks, residential, industrial, Commercial, police department, fire department, a seaport, um, entertainment by a football stadium, a power plant, so this has higher pollution, this is nuclear, and then of course your airport here. You can change the speed of the game, you have tools, disaster, your data, your save, uh, the mayor helps you out and then you can get information. You can even do helicopter based on various things happening like uh, disasters. Uh, fires, uh, heavy traffic reports. It's going to give you data as you expand your population, which is here, which is currently zero. And then your easy mode starts you off with $20,000. These are based on the needs right here. So your residential, commercial, industrial, the higher the bar up top. Basically explains to you that that is what is in demand right now for your town. So people want to move in and they want work. So residential and industrial is needed but first we need to have a power plant to do so I'm just gonna throw this in the corner throw some road around it let's do this get some industrial going and uh, we'll throw pollution is very high of course it is because we went with the most pollution heavy option here for our power plant but it's cheaper so the cost of these things is cheaper um, this was 3,000 whereas this is 5 and then I think an airport's 10,000 so we'll throw another power line down here going and we can adjust the speed of the game let's go to run just because we have short amount of time with it and we kind of want to give you a little bit of what this game is all about and then at the end we'll do some disasters and destroy the city but that's really the gist of the game it's a relaxing simulation game question eight eight was the movie released in the 90s? Was the movie released in the 90s based on the game that I... I'm trying to get you to guess. No. So that was an 8. You guys are s still doing really good at 8, so... So we're already into the, fir into the first year, as you can see the map turns white, representing snowfall. And then you get your report here on how much you're making based on taxes. So transportation funds, amount allocated and requested, $34 because we barely have any roads. We don't have a police or fire yet, and that counts for taxes. So we've lost 
uh, about six dollars to go with our expenses right now which is not horrible yet but as you start to build up infrastructure in your city you really have to dive into the management of that otherwise you'll go bankrupt real quick so we need people let's get our residence and I'm very particular with my structure on my land. Pollution warning, smog warning, high levels of pollution are causing your city's air quality to deteriorate. The citizens are leaving town, spread out your industrial zones, and avoid traffic congestion to improve the situation. So as we have a dense population like this, this is just bound to happen, unfortunately. What I can try to do, counteract it to make people happy, is build a park. Sometimes they're happy, sometimes they're not. As we build more park two, we get bonus items, which is the question mark. Uh, you get things like a casino, a theme park, even the mayor's house, which as the population increases, the mayor's house actually gets bigger. So as you go from a town, from a village to a town, to a city, to metropolis, and so on, uh, various things, and even the music in the game changes. I always have redundancies to my power lines here. Just cause. So there's low demand for industrial right now, so we won't work on that. I try to do alternating residential and, and commercial, so people don't have to drive far for various things. At some point, we're going to have to introduce a police department and a fire department because there will be the inevitable fire that breaks out. And that's bad news when you have a congested city as it can take out a significant portion of such city. So we'll throw them in there. And I think this is looking good so far. Hey, we did our first upgrade of our town. Population more than 2,000 people. Congratulations, your village has become a town. Placing residential zones, industrial zones, and commercial zones in a balanced number will help your city grow. Platform is a game in which primary mechanic roles jump into platforms. Good explanation. I agree with that statement. Pollution, I know everyone is going to have nasty lungs. Hey, there it is. My house in the middle of the street. What's up, Brett? Man, long time no see, and thank you. I know, not wearing a hat, so this is just what you get today. Where would you like to build your own house? Do you want to live near the residence of your city, or do you want to build your house in a secluded area away from the congestion? Remember, just another election is just around the corner. Nice little town, thank you. So we're working on that. Let's let's figure out where do I want my house? Pollution, man. They're really, really going hard on the pollution. So where do I want my house? Um it's been busy. Hey, no worries, it's okay. Glad to see you pop in though. So you're an essential. Oh man, I hope you're being safe out there, man. These are scary times. So let's throw some residential. I want to live with my people. Anyone ever play this game, I should ask? And as you can see, the housing gets upgraded, so apartments, um, as opposed to these little houses. So you see the changes like that take place in this game. And it's dependent on value of the land. So we can see that in some of our tools. I'll show that after the year here. Uh, so we're making, no, we're losing money still. City expenditures are still very high based with our taxes. So this is a problem. We need to figure out how to make more money, otherwise we're gonna go broke. 
and that's not fun when you go broke. Uh, currently, my simulation gaming addiction. You play similar games. There's so many of uh, games like this out there. Uh, I was just gonna actually say one of my favorite ones right now that I've pumped a ton of hours into, and I'm still not bored with. Uh, City Skylines, and I have that on the Xbox One. I absolutely love it. I can get lost in that and spend a lot of time in it. Is there a question? You want criticism? Okay. <laughs> have I ever played the game I'm thinking about on stream? I mean, you have to ask that in a form of a question. I can't just answer it. It's a freebie. No freebies. Good try, though. It's actually a good question if anyone wants to ask that. Oh, he's asking you to ask it. Okay. That's not the question for me. Okay. If you guys want to use that, go for it. So, one of the things we can look at on the map, too, which I gotta remember where is that in my tools. Uh, we'll go with auto pay. Prefer that. Oh, we don't want that. No. So, the map. So, comprehensive data of the map, so this gives you a red is your residential, blue is your commercial, and yellow is an industry. Uh, question, nine. Nine, have you played it on stream? Have I played it on stream? No. I have not. I have not played the game on stream, yet. Alright, so here's your power grade, orange is good. Roadmap, blue hey, represents listen. roads. Batman, thanks for the host. Um, what do we got here? Okay, so you got your graphs, uh, various growth. It's kind of a fun thing. Tax, uh, historical information of your town. So as you go on, you can see the timeline of major events. Uh, the voice of the people is a really cool one. So how well are you doing? Is the mayor doing a good job? 73% say yes. What are the worst problems? Taxes, so it's very expensive to live in my city. Pollution's pretty bad, crime's okay. So this is how you can emphasize on various things. So what do I need to adjust mostly? Housing, uh, it's too expensive, and uh, taxes. So again, a lot of cool information. You don't really need it, but it's helpful if you really want to balance your time and make sure you don't go bankrupt. Which again, is pretty important. So let's continue here. Our build to put in more residential on this game uh, highly recommend it again it's it's easily one of my favorite Super Nintendo games and it's one that you can just kind of chill out in it's very relaxing simulation games to me are, are very relaxing and sometimes it's a nice break from uh, killing digital monsters and people online to be clear it does have a movie I mean, yeah, there is technically a movie out there, so you'll understand if you get it or if you don't, I'll give you the answer and I'll explain my reasoning why. 
So we need more industry. Let's build more industry here for them. City! Hey, look at that growth. Population of more than 10,000 people. Congratulations, your town has become a city. Solve any transportation dilemmas and reduce the crime rate to keep your citizens happy and the city growing. So we're doing quite well here so far. We're balancing budget. We're building a city. If they want more commercial, we're going to give that to them. You can't kind of... <laughs> Yeah, you're not wrong, so, uh... Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, uh, you could say, yeah, there's, there's a movie, so... Again, you'll understand, if you get it. Brownouts? Oh, no. Bad News Bears with the brownouts. One bit donation. Thank you, Home Skillet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, it's making it rain. Thank you, Home Skillet. Hip hip hooray. Questions we had. Anyone want to recap or enlighten? Feel free to. show. <laughs> I mean, you can make it rain. You're helping out a great deal. I appreciate you. So we're losing demand of some things here. And we're losing money. Oh no. Traffic jam warning. See, this is now where we need to start thinking about mass transit program. So stay off the streets. Heavy traffic is clogging our roads. Residents are upset and the pollution levels are rising. Now might be a good time to introduce the mass transit program. Um, so what that is, is a rail system here. Um, what I do is just this, just so I have a trolley. Uh, this is not going to solve all my problems. And if I was doing this save file for like a long-term game instead of just showcasing it, I'd probably plot out my city a little different. Um, but this is just kind of the design I'm going for, for basic. Eventually you can fill up this entire map, except the yellow or the blue areas. Um, that would be your lakes. And there are, I believe, 999, well, 1,000 technically, I think, map variants in this game. Which is incredible. You put so many hours into this game. I'm glad somebody else out there has played this before, so you understand. Uh, this game is just so incredible. So simple, but yeah, so incredible. Here we go. Alright, chat, I'm gonna leave it up to you to help me pick an amusement park or casino. Why don't you build an amusement park or a casino for your city? The amusement park will attract people to the nearby zones while the casino will bring more money to the city. Which do you prefer? Ready, it's this casino. What do you guys think? Well, I think it picked for me. We took too long. It picked park. In honor of Don. <laughs> so it picked park for us. We'll do casino next. Nice little tune there. So it's based on how many roads you build in the game. It'll, it'll pop up another prompt as I build so many roads. I just have to be cautious here as I'm running low on funds. And that is a major problem. Our 
commercial. Casino would have brought you funds. I know the casino we should have gone with that. But here we are. We'll get offered again and we'll do the casino next time. A bank! Because I'm running low on money so I can take out a loan. <laughs> that is needed right now. That is for sure. So let's build a bank. It's gonna prompt me for a loan. Sim City Savings and Loan. Welcome to Sim City Savings and Loan. We're happy to offer ten thousand dollars low interest loan to those who wish to improve your our community. Your payments will be five hundred a year for the next twenty one years. Would you like to take a loan out? I'm gonna go with yes, just because we want money to keep the show going for the next a uh, little bit here. So one of the other things I want to build for us too um, is going to be a football stadium. Because we want entertainment in our lovely city here. Traffic jam. Doing research, I like it. We're learning here things too. So Classics Lounge is not only educating us about retro games, but we're looking up things um, about gaming in general. We're probably learning things. Life was so simple in August of 1904. So as promised, Casino. More traffic jams. Uh, we have a demand for industry, so we'll continue that. Still losing money, which is a problem. But let's try to clean up. We're gonna get offered a park here in a second. Maybe. Where's my park? by now we'll get a park. Call me a liar then I guess. We'll get offered a train station too as we build more train tracks. I am going to be broke. That's the problem. It's a major problem. Now let's build another power plant. Lord. A zoo. That's exciting. Let's build a zoo. Zoo. 
zoo for my people. I do need to build a power plant though. And then we're gonna be almost out of money. <laughs> Another. Wow, we have $1,500 left and we started with $20,000. This is quite tragic. So we've almost made it to the bottom of the map, though. Inadequate rail system. I know, my infrastructure's terrible. So continue questions, you guys are halfway there. We only have one game left on the show. Want to play roller oh, I would love to uh, play roller coaster. I have uh, roller coaster tycoon on my original Xbox. I just need a converter cable so I can stream from that. I have not played that in so long and I would absolutely love to stream that. Maybe I'll look something up online and get a converter cable. So yeah, now that we're pretty much broke, and only have a few minutes left in this game, who wants to see disasters? Ten. Is it a TV show? Uh, so question ten. Question ten is, is it a TV show? It was, yes. Eleven. Ten, I believe. Are there supernatural creatures in the game? So, question eleven, are there supernatural creatures? No. And so we're on eleven. So are there supernatural creatures? No. Library. We don't have enough money for the library, though. Hey, we have money again. Look at that. We got paid. residential is high again. So what we can do is start our next row. Crime warning. I didn't put enough uh, police departments in. That's okay. This will be the last block I build anyways because we're going to do disasters here. So we have a few disasters to choose from. We have a fire, a tsunami, a plane crash, which we don't have an airport yet, so I don't believe it'll work, a tornado, an earthquake, and then uh, a kaiju, a Gojira, which actually in this version of the game is Bowser. So we'll start with a basic fire. Fire, yowza! A fire has broken out. If it continues to burn, oh. 12, is it a fighting game? Is it a fighting game? No. If it continues to burn, it will spread through the city, bulldoze the area around the fire to have it stop from spreading. Have you built the fire department yet? Do you have sufficient fire protection? So the fire will spread here, and uh, no, it's not a fighting game. Crime alert, yes, yes, yes. So the fire is going to burn that little forest I have here in the water. 
Yowie wowie. <laughs> That's right. Traffic jams. So things are falling apart in DNA right now. So that was 12 questions. You guys still got this. You got time. Again, the prize, as long as you ask at least one question, if you get it correct, everyone who asks at least one question will get 10,000 strands. All right, let's do our tsunami. Flood, whatever, same thing. Break out the life rafts. The waters have risen to flood levels. Unless you develop the shorelines to prevent erosion and future flooding, the flood waters will continue to spread inland. Have I played the seventh saga? No. Traffic jam, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, next disaster. I don't think it'll trigger it again because we don't have an airport, but. No. It's a plane crash, it basically turns into a fire and destroys whatever the plane crashes on. Tornadoes are fun, let's check this out. Tornado, run for cover! A tornado has been spotted in the city! have to wait until it passes before you can rebuild the city because nobody fools with Mother Nature. Old Sago game, I think you enjoy. I'll have to see if I have it. Is it on the Genesis? I might have it. So there's your tornado. A little twister. Causes fires and destruction wherever it goes. Earthquake! This causes destruction and fire in my city, too. This is bad. Kind of look goofy. <laughs> it does. Alright, our last one here. Before we switch over. Bowser attack. The king of the Koopas has invaded our city while looking for Mario and Luigi. Bye. Bowser is destroying everything in sight. Obtain the fires he has set and repair the damage before he decides to return for a second stroll through downtown. So... Nice game. Am I trying to destroy my city? Yes, I am. So here's Bowser. He's swimming right now. We'll wait till he comes inland to see what he's all about. Uh, so we reached a population of 42,000 so far. That's not bad at all in such a short amount of time. Alright, here he is. He's on inland now. He's making his way towards the city. Maybe. He might not reach it, though. He might go away before. Um, but yeah. As my city falls apart, this has been SimCity on the Super Nintendo. I highly recommend it. Again, one of my top games for the console. I played so many hours of it. Uh, but give me a minute or less. I'm going to set up our final game for Classics Lounge today. Be right back.